Rahu right, back, yes, sir. This is Saru Nanitha. Alongside my Zamal, Hashem Reye. Be back. Rahu right, back. With a little bit of Hatat. We about to do a little something just now. Um, this right now that we're doing is basically called the uh, the truth behind the conspiracy against Dr. Malakazi, the master teacher. And we're gonna start it off with this right here. Let's get into the screen share for you people. Bang. Okay. Let me set this up, make sure y'all can see it right. All right. Okay, let's get it started. Now, who we have in the picture right there, as you see, is Yaqub Abdullah Muhammad. AKA, which stands for also known as Jacob. Jacob. Mm -hmm. Now let's get into this whole conspiracy about Jake the Snake versus his father, the master mm -hmm. teacher. Yaqub Abdullah Muhammad, AKA Jacob York, AKA Jake, AKA Jake the Snake, and also known as Big Papa of the Junior Mafia executive producer, pornography, hip hop star, Little Kim, AKA Little Mama, the Queen Bee. Now let's read that over again. I want y'all to get that, get that in your head. Mm -hmm. That's just so cute. Am I reading what I'm reading? <laughs> now, check this out. Okay. Yaqub Abdullah Muhammad, a.k.a. Jacob York, a.k.a. Jake, a.k.a. Jake the Snake, and also known as Big Papa of Junior Mafia, executive producer of pornography hip-hop star Little Kim, a.k.a. Little Mama, the Queen Bee. Jacob plays a very important role in the conspiracy to bring down Malachi York. He is the second most important witness on salary by the government, yet he was not in court. Jacob is a paid informant for the FBI. You hear that, people? He is a paid informant by the FBI. He's on payroll, yes. <laughs> According to his own sister's statement in court during the trial, it was blocked from public, but on the transcript, it is a common knowledge among family and friends of both Jacob and Malachi that Jacob hates his father with a passion. As a young boy growing up in the community, Jacob was the most, I'm sorry. As a young boy growing up in the community, Jacob was what most people would call a spoiled child, getting in trouble and doing the things that most children do. As a teenager, Jacob would use the fact that he was Malachi York's son to his advantage in the community. At the time, Malachi York was the pastor, but he retired in 1988 AD after which new leadership took over, namely Nathaniel Washington. To date, Malachi York was written well over 400 books, covering many topics, including religion, science, Freemasonry, business, and more. In all that Mr. York has written, it's well documented that he promotes religious tolerance, self-esteem, obeying the laws of the land, education, and good character, among other topics. The children and teenagers in the community were raised by their parents to be upright, mannerable, graceful, trilingual, and respectful. They were taught not to drink any alcohol beverages, also not to smoke any tobacco, to use any kinds of drugs, none. They were taught to avoid hip hop music. They learned classic, classical dance and ballet. 
you would say that they were raised to be nerds, but <laughs> but there's always that one or two who reach out into the world of the unknown and bring back evils such as pornography, hardcore rap, guns, the hip hop mentality, sloppy dresses, dropping out of school, using drugs, and changing girls into hoochie mamas. Yep. This is what Jake did. This is the kind of person he is. He let a lot of kids out of the community like Pede Piper. Now they are running the street. They are not street kids. They are, wait, they are not street kids. They really do not understand the street world. Jake is the one who it, I'm sorry, Jake is the one who it made it easy for seals and them to manipulate them into his conspiracy. Jacob went outside of the community and wanted to pursue a career in music, not just any music, or like his father, Malachi York, who is also a musician who produced and promoted wholesome groups with messages in their music. No, Jacob went for the hardcore pornography hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna read this part? Right, tag it up, tag it up. Uh. Jacob is responsible for the career of Lil' Kim, whose first album was called Hardcore. If you look on the back of the album, you will see executive producer, Jacob York. Keep in mind, though, that Jacob's legal name is Yakub Abdullah Muhammad. Yet, he insists on using the last name York like his father. This is because Malachi York is well known in the music industry and was a very instrumental with many hit songs that we all love to this day. Lil' Kim's song titles include Drugs, Big Mama Thing, Queen Bitch, and more. All the X-rated explicit lyrics, Lil' Kim was recently brought up on charges of perjury and obstruction of justice. She is accused of lying to the grand jury involving a shooting incident. Does that sound familiar? <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, I know about that that shooting incident, Hot 97, against, um, I believe it was Capone and Norregas Peoples. <laughs> yeah, there's a shootout that happened in Hot 97. Yeah. Oh my God, I'll go. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm about to say, what was the point saying? That's um, when Little Kim had to go to court. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, she, that, yeah. That, that's what the whole shit was. She was about. talking about certain people that was there she didn't know, and then they found out. They said, hey, but look, you're in music videos with these guys. And, you know. <laughs> Bitch, we heard you with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. Anyways, right. Of course it does. One of the prosecution witness for the trial against York testified in court that she lied to the grand jury and this can be found in the transcripts coming out of her own mouth. And when asked a question about three about the 302, which must be, you know, the file name for the transcript. Oh, Running back. Start back from No, it's right here. Where you at right now? See, we can't be doing this. Right there? Okay, come back up. Start yeah, start from here. No, Little Kim no. song. I want to actually run back into with the perjury thing. Yeah, start from the perjury right yeah. around there. So basically, you just continue talking, man, because mm -hmm. remember, I stopped. You just started talking. If you just edit it. Because nah. I just fucked up on that whole part I just read. Nah, but still, I just want to bring it back, though, because I want to elaborate on it. On the perjury? Yeah. That's what you was just talking about. Mm hmm. But I, I wanted to connect where you just started back again. Just in case if they lost where I was coming from, or... No, nah, that's one whole sentence. Let me read it to you. All right. Lil' Kim was recently brought up on charges of perjury and obstruction of justice. She is accused of lying to the grand jury involved in the shooting incident. Keep going. Does mm -hmm. that sound familiar? Mm hmm That's where you just came in. Mm hmm Yeah, keep going. I just wanted to hear that part over again. So, no. sink into their head. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got to edit this all out. That, 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 that whole shit is a fuck up right there. This nigga just said, hold on, go back so I can elaborate on this thing. You're going to say continue. 
No, no, because it's, it's going to link with everything else that you're saying, and I'm going to elaborate. But I don't want them to get lost as far as um, which case we're talking about. And I just finished the sentence. You said go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, continue. Why? Mm -hmm. It's going to go into something else from there. No, that's what I'm saying. Okay, fuck it. You're confusing mm -hmm. the fuck out of me. Anyways. See, I got to find a way when we edit it. Come back on, right? Because yeah, it does this sound familiar. But anyways, of course it does. One of the prosecution witnesses for the trial against York testified in the court that she lied to the grand jury, and this can be found in the transcript coming out of her own mouth. Uh -huh. When asked a question about the 302, <clears throat> which is a statement uh -huh. for the government, and she got caught in a lie and said Jacob is the one for is the one responsible responsible for altering the NBA logo to depict a young man holding a gun. That's the tough guy role. So why are you hiding Mr. Tough Guy? <laughs> why are you letting the same system you spoke about control your mind and your destiny? Step up to the plate like a man. After the NBA logo was altered for the rap artist Cameron, Jacob was sued by the NBA. Jacob is also responsible for the Junior Mafia first album called, entitled, excuse me, Conspiracy. How ironic is that? If you take a look at these rap groups that Jacob financed and supported and listened to the lyrics of their songs, it's no surprise how he could come up with elaborate porn <laughs> that shit fucked my head too. Pornographic stories and child molestation. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Tell me we're getting into all that negative shit so early. <laughs> Like, if we think about it, you know, we could, um, wait, hold on. I'm on the same because it was quiet, so I couldn't probably just. Yeah, that's what I was let me get this back up. Okay. Having a little technical difficulties with the computer. All right, but we back on. Jacob hated his father for not being there to support his efforts in his music career. Mr. York is the against, Mr. York is against the exploitation of young men and women in the grading music. Thus, he would not support such a thing. Jacob also believes that his father is somehow responsible for his mother's death. Jacob's mother died of a brain aneurysm, which runs in her family. Her father and her older brother both died of a brain aneurysm. Malachi and Jacob's mother had been separated for over 25 years. They didn't even see each other, nor come in contact with each other. Mm-hmm. Mr. York heard about her death and called Jacob. It was about time that Jacob called his father's name and cursed at him. Threatened to kill him, accused him. And Mr. York understood that Jacob must have been very upset regarding the death of his mother. York covered all the expenses for the funeral out of his care and concern. Mm -hmm. This was ignored and Jake continued to hate his father. Jacob went to live the fast life of money, sex, drugs, and criminal activity. Jacob is one guilty of all of the crimes that his father Malachi York is being accused of. Jacob is known as a child molester. There's an FBI report where a female was identified as Bud. That's weird. Training. <laughs> Told the FBI that Jacob molested her. No, shit. Name molested her. Jacob molested her child. Mm. This was never investigated by the FBI. Jacob traveled across the state lines with minors and adults from Georgia, Florida. So you might not, you might think that point right there was invalid, but it makes sense because it's like the same thing pops. Mm -hmm. If you did it and then get locked up, how your pops getting locked up for it? Exactly. 
and this is and, and this is documented stuff that has been out for years. Mm -hmm. It's not something that I just brought up to y'all just today. I've had this before 2015. I've had this before 2013. No, nah, no, nah, the best way is to say it before, <laughs> before all the old heads now who think they just, you know, know what they're doing on the internet, even knew anything about the internet before. Facts. So you remember all these old heads was not even on a motherfucking computer. Real shit. Man, Google been out. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Hey, go on. I'm about to go about why did you do that? I'm just trying to make it good fact, so it'd be like good trims. Mm -hmm. That's, That's why fact. I'm taking those pauses in between. Oh, no, I'm not trying to. I'm just leaving. Oh, no. Just leave it how it is. Oh, hell no. Because everybody know, like, this ain't no specific, you know what I mean? Um, like, show, show, TV show, lights, camera, action. We got to always. Yeah, yeah, not make a mistake. Expect me to come on yeah, the show. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm taking care of my kids the same time we doing the show. I'm over here cutting up some food, you know what I'm saying? Making some food for my kids the same time while we doing the show and reading this. So, y'all know what it is, you know. You can take care of your kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think got a whole collard green in the house I meant to bring up. A whole fucking collard green. Mm. We trim this. Shit. All right, so boom. With the intent to engage in sexual acts and encourage minors to have sex with others, Farah Muhammad, who had just turned 17 at the time, is the victim of Jacob's advances in farming. Mm -hmm. She comes forward and tells her story and willingly is willingly to testify. Jacob recruited disgruntled ex-members of the community in order to come up with the plot involving child molestation to bring his father down. He chose child molestation because he stated that child molestation is an easy way to charge somebody and the hardest to defend. Jake stated that it would be believable because he knew that there were women and children living on the land. Thus, he started his campaign to recruit ex-female members that eventually moved in with him, which he had sexual relations with. Jacob purchased a house in Stone Mountain, Georgia, along with Bob and Noel, where they all live. It was at this house where they all conspired and plotted the false testimony, um, testimony of um, molestation. A conspiracy network was set up by Jacob where all of the females would call each other to match up stories and add overall plot. Jacob sponsored a trip to South Beach, Florida, where he invited several disgruntled ex-members under the disguise of the reunion trip. The agents told Jake to sponsor a trip to South Beach, Florida, and they'll pay for it. Once down in Florida, Jacob was told to bring up a casual conversation of child molestation and money and how much money they could get if they would say if they, if they would say that his father molested them. Some of the women and men that Jake initially tried to recruit even took on the South the South Beach trip did not even go along with the conspiracy. Others co co others were coerced and even in even threatened by Jake to go along with the plot. Hear all their stories, read very closely, and you will see without the question that York was set up. It was a plot, a conspiracy. York is innocent of all charges. Mm hmm. Now let's go bring it up. Keep on when I pass it, then I'm going to. So this lady is part of the um what's the name of Biba? That's um Secret Behind Closed Door. Yeah. This is Habiba Abigail Washington. Right. She was in the video with <clears throat> um Secrets Behind Closed Doors. Mm-hmm. 
And today, I, this is her speaking, end quote. And today I'm here to put on record the truth behind all of the lies brought up in the case against you all. I'm going to start off by saying I'm not being forced, threatened, coerced, or persuaded to do this tape. I'm also doing this to state that, as you can tell, I'm not under any influence of alcohol or drugs. I want to begin with all the events that led up to the final verdict in the case against you all. I want to start off with how it started, where it started, when, and the reason why. I left the community in February 2001. I moved from Georgia and I went back to New York and moved with my family. In about March of 2001, I was contacted by Jacob, the son of Pop, I well, excuse me, son of Malachi York. He also is an ex member. Jacob contacted me, and our conversation was basically about the good times we had in the community, what we went through, and how we grew up. Just making up for the old times. So, who is the read? Two months after that, Jacob called me. This was in May. Jacob called me about a trip to Florida, a trip where some of the girls and boys, ex-members, that were going to go down to Florida just to hang out, have fun, whatever. I agreed to go on the trip. I told Jacob, I'll come on the trip. I left from New York, went to Georgia. We all met up at Jacob's house. It was me, Jacob, Nicole Lopez, which is um, Tariq Noel's sister, and N Rashid, and Is, and Istra, probably some other girls and boys I don't remember. Before we actually went down to Florida, I had a conversation with Jacob outside of his house, and Jacob brought up some feelings that he had about his father. Jacob was really upset with his father. He stated that he he stated that he hated his father, that he felt that his father didn't need to be alive, that he shouldn't even be given life. He felt that his father needs to just rot in jail. Jacob wanted all of us to. All of us meaning me, Nicole, Karima. He was talking about two he was talking, well, I'm sorry. He was talking to a couple of people, different people that left the community. He wanted us to bring a case against his father. Jacob told me that some of the girls and boys that left the community had went to the government about different things that was going on in the community, meaning child molestation. Before I left the community, I was the main person in charge of finances as well as in charge of anything that went on in the community. The living, eating, anything financial, anything that happened regarding any of the members in the community, I dealt with that. So I was basically in charge. Jacob told me that the FBI knew who I was and that they were told about certain things that I have done in the community and some of those things I could be in, in, uh, incriminated for. Jacob told me that if I don't go to the FBI first, then they would come after me. They would incriminate me. They would take my children away from me because they are things that they would, wait, I'm sorry, and take my children away from me because there are things that they were told about me that could incriminate me. When Jacob first talked about, wait, when Jacob first talked to me about that, I was not interested in bringing out any charges against his father. I didn't see any reason. I didn't believe that anything was going on. I didn't believe that anything was wrong. We was she was talking about FBI. Mm-hmm. Like keep reading it for that right there for me. We wasn't doing anything. 
He wasn't doing any um, criminal acts. Jacob brought up the fact that I had a son by his father at 17 years old. I told Jacob my son and his father never came about because I was forced to have sex with his father. Oh, that sounds crazy. Why would you not want to charge somebody then if that's the case? If you supposedly get in the chance to. Mm-hmm. So you should be a hater too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that. Yes, I was 17 year old, um, yeah, years old. Yes, I did agree to have a child with his father at that age. But I understood my age and I understood his age and I didn't see anything wrong with it. I consented to it. So I told Jacob that that's the way I felt. I didn't feel that anything wrong happened. That we both agreed to it. I felt I was an adult. It was my decision and I went with it. But Jacob proceeded to say that there were some things that some of the other ex-members had to have went to the government with and that I should really talk to them and see what's up and clear my name so that I'm not prosecuted of those things. We all went to Florida after that conversation and during the trip to Florida, we had several conversations in the car with Jacob. I hate when it gets so tiny. It was some other boys that were there and Jacob started talking about going on the land and taking some of the kids, just kidnapping some of the children off the land. That's fucked up. Mm -hmm. He was talking about my sister. My sister was still there. My youngest sister, Isla, was still there, and he wanted us to go up there and take her and take some of the other little girls and boys off the land because he feel like they should not be living on the land with his father. But we all had agreed that this was not going to happen. None of us was interested in going up on the land and kidnapping anybody. So Jacob said, well, then we could just do it the legal way. He started bringing up different things in the community, like how we grew up, how we live. He brought up the fact that he was in love with Nicole. And he felt that Nicole liked his father, that it was betrayal, and that his father was one responsible for it. Jacob thought that his dad was responsible for his mother's death and his brother's death. And he really, really, really felt that he needed to take revenge on his father and he was not able to do it but we're able to do it because we were no longer and we were closer to his dad than he was. So Jacob had a conversation with me, Kareem, and Nicole. Nicole had a lot of disgruntled issues with Jacob's dad because of one, she was kicked out. And she felt like it was wrong, felt like it was wrong that she was kicked out because she didn't have anywhere to go. Um, Who we talking about? Nicole. But whose name was mentioned earlier too, Kareem, right? Mm-hmm. Who did you see earlier? With the twist. Oh, that was Kareem? Yeah, and I'm about to say it won't shade, that's the one with Kareem. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, it's gone. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> see, that'd be the shit I'd be trying to show people, like, nigga, most of this shit be back. Can't be. Like the Bible, they put too much truth with love. Mm-hmm. So this is just a rundown. See how people like. There's more to the book. We only on page five. We only on page five. There's more to the book. Where'd you leave off at? Well. I'll just start it back right here. No, it's something about okay, um, I see. Okay. Let's start back at the top right here. I was talking about my sister. My sister was still there. My younger sister, Ishla, was still there. And he wanted us to just go up there and just take her and take some 
of the other little girls and boys off the land because he didn't mm -hmm. feel that they should be living on the land with his father. But we had all agreed that that was not going to happen. None of, I'm sorry, none of us was interested in going up on the land and kidnapping anybody. So Jacob <laughs> said, well then we can just do it the legal way. He started bringing up different things in the community, like how we grew up, how we lived. He brought up the fact that he was in love with Nicole and he felt that because Nicole liked his father, that it was a betrayal and that his father was the one responsible. See all of these different things that he's already like made up and created that Nicole was in love with his father. Nicole was never in love with his father. Nicole never even did, dealt with his father. So everything that he's telling everybody is is the little um, manipulating schemes that he's basically trying to um, come up with at that moment. Tell me all the shit I You know, talking about, oh yeah, I don't, I don't think that they're safe on the land with my father. Like he's already creating the scheme. He's trying to manipulate them because they already did not agree with <laughs> what he right. wanted to do. If something was really going down on the land, then they would have agreed with him to take these kids off right away. So, okay, now, um, where did we leave off at? Jacob thought that his dad was responsible for his mother's death and his brother's death. And he really, really felt that he needed to take revenge on his father. And he was not able to do it, but we were able to do it because we were there longer and we were closer to his dad than he was. So Jacob had, yeah. So Jacob had a conversation with me and Karima and Nicole. Nicole had a lot of disgruntled issues with Jacob's dad because for one, she was kicked out and she felt that it was wrong that she was kicked out because she didn't have anywhere to go. She didn't know anybody. And after all the years she lived in the community, Malachi kicked her out and she had nowhere to go. So she was kind of mad about that. Everybody started venting in the car about different things. Yeah, I'm about to finish it right now. Um, Everybody started vending in the car about different things that we didn't like. It didn't have nothing to do with the child molestation. It had nothing to do with any criminal acts. It was just different things, normal things that you don't like about growing up or you know. We might have had an argument with Malachi here and there and we brought up the situation. Jacob kind of felt Wait, Jacob kind of fed off of that anger and he convinced all of us that we should take that anger and we should, what? And we should go to the government with a story about his father. We all went down to Florida and we had fun. We did our thing on the trip back from Florida. We were driving in Jacob's car again. And it was myself, Karima, Nicole, Farah, no, Rashid, and some other driver. I didn't remember his name. And Jacob brought up a conversation again, how he thinks that we should really go to the government with a story about his father. Anything that we didn't like in the community, we should go because his father needed to be in jail. His father did not do good things. He was not happy with his father and really felt that a case should be brought up against his father. He really felt that his father should be put away for life. He did not deserve to live. That conversation subsided and we finally made it back to Georgia from Florida. And Jacob had a conversation with me again. And he was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was persistent. Y'all bitches gonna talk to the police. I don't know what I'm talking about. So let's see. Um, conversation subsided and we finally made it back to Georgia from Florida and Jacob had a conversation with me and told me that 
it was no way I would be able to prove that it didn't happen. The only way I can make it, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> the only way I can make any good of it is to go to the FBI with a story. Seek immunity. Mm -hmm. Seek seek immunity and just go from there. I still told Jacob that I was not interested in doing that, and there was nothing that I, and there was nothing that I witnessed, or nothing that I know that was going on. But Jacob believed that because the FBI knew who I was, and because they were told things about me, that it was best that I go to them and talk to them and see what's up. You know, they was gonna raid that whole shit. Mm -hmm. At the point I was at that point I was afraid. I mean nobody <laughs> really messes with the FBI. So I went to the FBI the following day. They called Jacob up first. I sat in the nah. car. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I tell ya. <laughs> they called Jacob first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that nigga gonna speed up. Yep. <laughs> so they called Jacob first. I sat in the car. Jacob talked with them. I don't. Uh, I don't know what the conversation was about because I wasn't in the room and I wasn't told what the conversation was about. But Jacob went up there and he talked to them. And then about an hour later, they called me up. I stated my name. I stated who I was. They asked me a, they asked me about different children, and they called out different names like Amala and Crystal. And I told them I know those children. Whatever name they called, if I knew the person, I told them I knew the person. They asked me to state my life. The reason why I left and the re oh, they asked me to state my life, like to tell about her life on the land. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Come on, say, what the fuck is mm -hmm. that supposed to be? They asked me to state my life. The reason why I left and the reason why I was there, I told them about the life. Wait, I'm sorry. I told them about life in the community growing up while I left. I was questioned about the money situation because I did deal with the financial situation. I told them how we ran our finances. I ran off different people that I, I'm sorry. Ain't going on. Jacob is smart yeah, that's what I'm saying. All these niggas is smart. Jacob, Tyreek, little punk bitch ass. He's smart. But Chuck Morgan is super fucking smart. That bitch ass nigga. No, you know what I'm sorry. saying? Chucky play, child's play. Oh yeah. Sal um on um, yeah. <laughs> Smart too. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people be like, yo, these niggas, these slam, I don't pay them no mind. They just crazy. No, these niggas is fucking smart, evil, devil ass motherfuckers. Right. It takes a smart motherfucker to make up great fucking lies. <laughs> you know, facts. It takes a smart person. But um, let's see. Um, they asked me to state my life, the reason why I left and the reason why I was there. I told them about life in the community. Growing up while I left, I was questions about I was questioned about the money situation because I dealt with the finance financial situation. I told them how we ran our finances. I ran off different people that I knew that were there, different people that I knew that had left and why they left. They asked right. me about you basically just started Filling in all the shit. Yeah. So now all of the people that left, they're going to try to call mm -hmm. up and do the same thing to them, threaten them and scare them and get, you know, get them to coerce a fucking lie. So let's see. Um, I ran off different people that I knew that were there, different people that I knew that had left and why they had left. They asked me about certain children. They asked me about certain stories that were told. And I told them, that yeah, I went along with the story. <laughs> yeah, so you see what she said. She was like, "Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right?" I, I told him, "Yeah." I told him everything I knew. And uh, no, no, no. She no. She said they asked them about different but stories I mean, and certain. That's things. basically you told them everything you knew. Mm -mm, nah, Pete. What she said? She said, "Um, they asked me certain stories that were that were. They asked us certain stories that were told. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I told them, yeah." 
I went along with the story. So when she says I went along with the story, it means that like anything that they asked me, even if it was true or if it wasn't true, I'm saying yes. I'm just know. saying yes because I'm fucking scared. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm saying. As long as the shit ain't incriminating me, I'll say yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's exactly what she did. See, I got you know, some trick to do right now. I'm saying motherfucking. Mm-hmm. I went along with the story. I told them that yes, I did do these things. I felt that I had to tell them yes, because I was told that they already knew and they were, uh, I'm I'm sorry, I was told that they already knew and there no way for me to deny anything that didn't happen. I mean, yeah. You know. Too late, bitch, obviously. Somebody had to go in there stitching for you. No, 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 no. How do you know about me if I was hot? No, what I'm saying, what they what they knew about her was like, okay, we know your name, we know where you live, we know your mother, we know your father, we know your son, we know you love those things. Anything can happen to any one of those things if you do not just agree to what we are saying. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she got no choice because it, it, it's, it's, it's the same way. Like, remember I used to get them phone calls? You know, and sorrow not right. either. We right. want you to stop doing what you're doing for the Wapia Nation. On YouTube and failure to comply to U.S. government admin. Then about a month, exactly. I'm still going through it. And then, like a few months later, what happened? Then I ended up getting another phone call. We are watching your house and all accountants. Then two minutes later, another phone call. The time is now. You know, and it's like we are watching your house and. Where the fuck was I for those? Huh? Where was I for those? Oh no, that one was like at midnight. I think you had just left. That night. I'm just about like, you still living here? Yeah, I'm still living here. Though. Yeah, that, no, that was that night. That was the night that I probably went to sleep early because I know how I used to be up well, four or five in the morning. morning. Yeah, but this is the night I went to bed early and I'm in the bed with wife and everything and about to fall asleep and then get a phone call. <laughs> and I ended up answering it. If I didn't answer it, I would have had that one on my voicemail like the first one. Right. You see? So, um, but yeah, like, with them sending that shit, we are watching your house and all the counts. That's making me yeah, know, like, I'm scared. And I'm like, well, shit, like, they know where. Shit, who you watching, my kids? Now that puts, because I'm like, I don't give a fuck if you go. watching me, but you watching my kids, too? I was like, watching you for 21. Exactly, you know? So it's just shit like that. But you know how they watch people mm-hmm. right here, right where they see us. IP address. Yep, IP address and also this yeah, this camera. this camera. Yep. So they 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 know who I am. Right. You know you got motherfucking computer. That's it. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Um. Okay, nigga, that six o'clock. <laughs> hey, I left off at. Um. You selling that whole pack? You got to be this one. Hmm. So you gotta leave this week. Oh, I'm about to finish it right now. I ain't got nothing to drink. Now, water, I would drink that water. I think I'm. We're about to do a store run just now, too. Mm -hmm. So we're about to do a store run just now. But yeah, we're, we're there. Um. Let me see. I was told that. Let me see. Trying to find out where I left off at. Okay, yeah, bang. I went along with the story. (laughs) I'm going to start off right there. (laughs) Because that's the punchline right there. I went along with the story. (laughs) I told them that. Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> I did those things. I felt that I had to tell them yes because I was told they already knew everything about me. Now, once again, just to elaborate on that is that has nothing to do with coercing you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But then again, it do because like, all right, they tell you, listen, you just go along with the shit you go along with blackmail. Right. Mm-hmm. They ain't even gonna bother you. <laughs> That's how they usually get us because any nigga that gets locked up. And we go in court, even if we did it or not, we end up copping out to something. 
even if we did it or not. That's what you do. Because it's like when you first like fighting it, you like I ain't I ain't do shit. I ain't got nothing to worry about. But after you go in the court for like six months to a year and, and only shit. Yeah, and then all you hearing is years, not even months, but years you gotta do time for this. And you so fine, you like, damn man, I know I ain't do this shit. I've been fighting this shit for, for a yeah, minute, so man. Like, like again one more time, like Yo, so just want to take six months to plead guilty. Yeah, they offering you six months now. You ain't got to do three years, but they offering you six months. <sighs> Only God. if you plead guilty. Only if you plead guilty, though. <sighs> All right, fuck it. Just give me that six. I ain't trying yeah, to fucking do no three to six. Right. Three to six years. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they get us through the fair tactics. And it's just like, because we know that these niggas got the Khalifa Browder. That's a prime example. The, um, the shit that Jay-Z made some... You know what I'm saying? It was some guy that got locked up. I ain't even see the shit. Yeah, but I just, I, I know the whole basic story of, it's, it's about a guy that got locked up for something that they didn't have evidence. And he was locked up for a long time. And I think um, they found him innocent. It was a whole bunch of, I can't, I, like, don't Maybe take like years later. Yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. Cause like I said, I didn't, even, I didn't even see. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like I don't know the whole story, but it's the basic shit that we all yeah, basically yeah, already know. Like that nigga been in jail for twenty years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yeah, which is true. You know. So. But see, that's how crazy if we talking about a regular note. Mm-hmm. Imagine niggas like um OJ. Ain't no way that nigga was getting out. Uh-uh. No, 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 nigga. We, we going to jail this time. Uh-huh. That's a fact. You know, they going to make a way. Now, let's see where, 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 where I left off at. I went along with the story. <laughs> Punchline. <laughs> I told him yes. I did those things. I felt that I had to tell them yes because I was told that they already knew. I'm sorry. I was told that they already knew and there there's no way for me to deny anything that didn't happen. You see? She said there's no way for me to deny anything that didn't happen. Not even that did happen, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, punchline. Slip my ear. Yo. That doesn't even make sense. Yes. <laughs> so y'all see the setup. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she telling you straight, like, there's shit nothing didn't. I could do. Yeah, there's nothing I All could right. do. Shit ain't happened, but I, I, I couldn't even deny I shit that didn't even mind. happen. I just had to go along with it. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? They told me to be at court in the morning, I better have it, man. Yep. You know, so I went along with the story. <laughs> Yo, you know, I'm what I mean, my own ass, you know? this is like, I mean, this, I've had this, I have had this document for years. You know what I'm saying? A few other people have it. You know what I mean? Like, with all these things that Chuck Morgan and all these guys be putting, I'm like, come on, we, we, we got, mind you, I just want to let right, you know. I'm not even on serious note with this shit right now. Yeah, you know, because even though we're reading this, but at the end of the day, this, yeah, and plus the these statements that she's making, these are in that video for Mystery Behind yeah, Closed right, Doors. Right. So it's an actual video of her saying these things versus like with Chuck Maybe Morgan. She's writing shit. Yeah. You know? uh, I'm telling you, they're they going to hate that I'm back. <laughs> they're going to hate that I'm back. I'm telling you. Free Dr. York, y'all know what it is. Wuna Wap, you know. Raul back to Prince York. Raul back to Deuce York. It's a car. Then to the Ray, you know what I mean. Raul back to the Wapian Assassin. Y'all know what it is. Raul back to Selassie, Unkman and Nubi. Yeah. All right, so let's see. I went along with the story. <laughs> yeah. <Yo. laughs> Y'all have to really think about that. Because there was no way for me to deny anything that didn't happen. <laughs> Disrespectful. Yes. 
or anything that did happen. <laughs> I had to tell them what I felt that they knew because I felt that, like Jacob told me, they already knew the story and there was no way that so I could. Oh shit. Mm hmm. Jacob already loved me. Yeah. The story was already set up. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even get down to the part where where the FBI and Jacob York had all these different people sit there and watch our um, Charles Manson documentary about him being like a cult leader and all of this. Because they had to watch that and then grasp a whole, create a whole story about Dr. York based around Charles Manson. Mm -hmm. Take Charles Manson out and put Dr. York there. You know what I'm saying? And instead of murdering people, just put child molestation there. And it's the same shit basically doing. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace to Charles Manson as well, man. I fucks yeah, with him. Back. Yeah, I mean he innocent. He innocent, real shit. He ain't murder nobody. You know Which they know. Exactly. Which they do know. He's not charged for murder. Facts. He's charged for making people murder people. Yeah. And the thing is, like, the people that they said that he made murder, they're not even in jail. Did they do any time? Fuck no, they ain't do no time. One became an actor, another one became a writer, another one became a motherfucking pre um, pastor and a preacher. How? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the same way like how, when we get further down in this, you're gonna see how it shows. Just like how I said that, that Jacob York was on the FBI payroll, but it's also gonna state that a lot of these people that were coerced, they were also, um told that, okay, you'll be able to get rewards off of this, meaning music, movies, you know, books. The, the people he chose was people who was mad. Exactly. But mind, but mind you, peep this too. The different things that they'll be into, like I said, okay, you could be a, in movies, music. The, the the music shit that they'll be doing would probably be shit about, like, at, against child molesters and, and, and cult stuff. And, hey, don't join a cult. <laughs> don't Some be in a religion. Don't be you know, holy. Be shit they be told Just be a nigger. Here. <laughs> in the interview, you know, I used to be called as cult. It was a Black Panther's cult. Mm -hmm. That's how they do that shit. You know what I mean? Like, look, 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 look at everybody that fuck with Jacob York. Like, come on, Beyonce got the the little, you know, what I'm saying the chain from the air straight to the nose. Like, come on, you sound like they copying the ant. This is shit. Jacob York giving a lot of fashion that. statements. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Crucci train, Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? All these guys wearing the unks and shit. Chris Brown and all these guys wearing unks and shit. Like, but they doing it in the negative. This is black devils. This ain't black mm -hmm. the thaws, You know what I'm saying? These is black devils. So let me see. Yeah. We're about to make a store run, people. So I'm about to log off for the show. I'll be back on this like in about 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get it in. But I just had to give y'all a all the blood clot. Hold on. All the blood clot. Why my screen share wasn't on? I had it on. Yeah, just to let y'all know what I'm reading from. Because the screen share was, was supposed to be on from a long time. Mm -hmm. Before I even log off, hold on, let me just show you something. Hold up. <laughs> I went along with the story. <laughs> That's right here, people. You see where I got the mouse, the cursor? I, uh -huh. <laughs> I went along with the story. You know what I'm saying? And then it goes that there was no way for me to deny anything that didn't happen. We're going to leave it at that, people. <laughs> proof is in your face. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back on that. Um, facts. But, like I said, get used to this, because I got a lot of stuff that's coming. You know what I'm saying? I ain't half-stepping. Ain't no half-stepping. I ain't got to do that much talking no more. I got Dang, I got the stuff here for y'all. Let, let me take that off, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you know niggas still want you to talk and read. Yeah, exactly. They love my attitude. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be back up on him a little bit. And um, 
We're going to drop some stuff, you know. Hope y'all checked out that B.O.B. video I did when he was talking about Ether. And I had to, like, let niggas know. I think know. he came out with another video. Huh? Another video. He did? I should have checked out shit. I saw some stuff. I don't fuck with um B O B Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever say what B O B even stands for? Um, butt fucking over bottom bunk. <laughs> That's what it stands for. <laughs> butt fucking over bottom bunk. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> oh, but no, but for real though, like yeah, he he was talking about the the ether and. He was like, yeah, I want people to know about Ether, you know, the the Albert Einstein Ether. I said, what? <laughs> Did he just say the six Ether? <laughs> wow. So I had to let him know, like, yeah, now, you know, we dealing with this Dr. York, you know what I mean? The Wapu, that nine Ether. Go check out that video. It's very interesting and very entertaining. You know, very entertaining. I think the recording was kind of low because I was recording off of my studio microphone. You know what I mean? Like I just finished doing music that day. I just kept recording on the microphone. I didn't switch it to my other microphone. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got the the, the volume set on my studio micro, microphone at a certain level. So when I'm spitting loud, it ain't gonna come out that high. You know what I mean? So if you check that, you're gonna hear my voice kind of low, but I actually threw it in my um, Logic Pro turned up the volume for y'all and that's gonna be reloaded back up but we're gonna be back in a little bit it's a sorrow non ether sam radio we'll be back or die with free back to y'all speak from that.